What's up guys, this is Tails86 here and it's time for another review. Today we're going to be reviewing a horizontal shooter from the TurboGrafx-16 which came out in 1993 from Hudson Soft. It is going to be Lords of Thunder which also came on the Sega CD in 1995 and the Virtual Console in America on February 11, 2008. So, let's go ahead and talk about this title. As you very first start the game you'll see it kinda has a layout kinda like a Mega Man type layout you have different worlds that you can go to each way to uh, get to the very final boss you have to beat through each one so it kinda has a Mega Man type feel to it as you first go ahead and look at it but basically the story revolves around the world of Mistral's confrontation with the reawakened evil god Zagart and his minions who have torn the world and basically a god knight known as Landis sets off to defeat Zagart's enemies or his army excuse me in seven different stages as you guys can see you have seven different stages you can choose from each of them in a language I would never be able to actually say because I would probably say it really badly anyway we're gonna go to Desant first. Now you have four different types of armors you can use. You have a fire armor, a wind armor, water armor, and the earth armor. So we're going to use the earth armor. This is also a title that uh, Corby Diller went ahead and actually told me to go ahead and try to get because a couple reasons. This is a little bit easier to use than uh, a lot of the other armors, or at least that's what he told me. So I'm gonna hold him to it but basically this is a horizontal shooter like I said before and you're just shooting 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 as much as you can trying to make sure you don't get hit now the way that this game works is when you get hit any of your power-ups that you've gained you lose a portion of them every time you get hit so make sure that when you're doing this you're being as careful as possible not to get hit at all because not only do you lose your power up, you lose health. Now, of course, also though, when you die, you do get continues. So that's a good thing. You do get three continues when you go ahead and die the first time. There are three different levels for this that you can go on. You have normal, super, and hard mode. I have tried hard mode just out of plain curiosity. I did this on this exact stage. I got to about the uh, a third of the way there because it was actually pretty damn hard of course though I'm not a shunt master I don't plan to be anytime soon I do like the genre though so maybe one day I will pick up and get better but as of right now uh, I'm not as good on horizontal shooters as I am on vertical maybe one day I will get better but as of right now uh, I'm sticking with vertical shooters and I'm not doing as good as I would like to do right now that's okay hopefully I'll be able to fix that real soon but basically you have different power-ups that you can grab with this game when you have uh, make sure you grab a lot of these emeralds to make it so you can get more power-ups and you can get more health and you can get extra stuff as well whenever you die by accident or anything that's why those are there and that was something I actually needed so thank god for that health thing being there but as soon as I grabbed it I lost it so that's just beautiful but this is a really actually a pretty intense game for being a TurboGrafx-16 game and for it being Hudson Soft this is kinda one that I never actually had even really heard of to be honest with you so when Corby told me about the title uh, he was like yeah it's a really fun title I play it a lot and he can play it with his feet so I'm like oh, that's nice and I died so that was very pretty as you can see though I like the way that they go ahead and had the little continue thing they give you 10 seconds until all those candles go out and you can change the thing back again. So let's go ahead and try a different armor real quick. We're gonna try the we're gonna try the fire armor just to try it out. Now as I said though, you have 
a certain amount of crystals as you can see right here I've got 1600 of them so let's go ahead and spend a couple of them we'll uh, get a mystic orb and we're going to uh, let's get a shield and let's increase our health a little bit well maybe not our health but yeah we'll increase our health a little bit okay and we're gonna try it again now I like this title for a couple reasons one uh, it's very fast paced so you gotta make sure you have like your eyes in the back of your head as well as paying attention to everything that's around you because these levels look like they're really simple but in portions of them they will actually get a little bit harder so just make sure as you're playing this you have your eyes locked on that TV because there will be times when you'll look at it and be like oh my god this looks like it's almost impossible to get past but of course that's with almost any game you have to make sure you beat the challenge now though in my opinion this is a great title for any kind of shooter fans especially ones that like the old style shooters back from the TurboGrafx-16 or any of the older games from the TurboGrafx um, really truly I don't really have any kind of complaints about the game uh, I wish it did kinda of have like a little bit of a bullet hell type feel to it like instead of you being hit any specific spot like if you got hit in the head or something like that I could understand that for taking damage but I mean you can get hit pretty bad and once as soon as you get hit one time it feels like you're just being bombarded by everything afterwards now though this title in my opinion from weekly review gets a 9 out of 10 for great controls awesome music and very well made level design in my opinion so anyway guys I hope you all enjoyed it and stay tuned for my next review coming soon later guys